<sighs> what is good, everybody? Sam Dog, the infamous 253, coming at you guys with some breaking news. I just got back from Vegas yesterday, last night, but some breaking Seahawks news. The Seattle Seahawks have traded Frank Clark to the Kansas City Chiefs for their 2019 first round pick, a 2020 second round pick, and swap mid rounders in this year's draft. Man, this is just breaking news, man. That I'm that I was just that I just saw earlier on ESPN and had no idea was freaking coming. But ever since I knew we were signed, we signed that franchise tag with Clark. But that obviously didn't mean that we were gonna keep him too. Me, I'm. I mean, I like what we got for the trade, but you're not gonna find another another Frank Clark. Frank was a fucking monster on our freaking pass rush, man. <sighs> I mean, I hate to see a guy like that go because he was freaking leading our team with most of our sacks in, in the past few years. I mean, he's been a dog since he fucking entered the league. I mean, I even told him that myself every time I would see him by the tunnel. I mean, you've seen it in the past videos. I've even told, I've even called Frank my dog because, and telling him to go out there and just go kick, go kick some ass out there every fucking game, man. I mean, damn. <sighs> I fucking hate that we had, that we, that we, I mean, and ever since Russell took that freaking, took that freaking deal, man, I mean, I knew it was gonna kill the cap, and I, I even said it. I even said that this would mean that we're probably that we're not gonna be able to keep guys like that, and that's why we traded them. But damn, I wish Frank Clark the best of luck in Kansas City and all that stuff too. But Kansas City fans, I'm gonna let you guys know you guys are getting a freaking monster, man. Frank Clark was a freaking beast when he played when he played for us too, and his presence was felt every time he got to the quarterback and sacked the quarterback. I mean. Frank Frank could freaking hit, man. No doubt about it. I remember this one game, I w and I was on the road. Week, week 5, 2017 in Los Angeles. I remember Frank Clark was on Andrew Whitworth, and then, and this was the, and this was the year that we had, even though we missed the playoffs that year, the that year though, but Frank Clark on one play, fought through Andrew Whitworth, blasted Goff, and got, which forced the fumble, which was uh, which was obviously scooped up by Sheldon Richardson in that game when Sheldon Richardson had played his one year with the Seahawks when when he scooped up the fumble. But Frank Clark freaking leveled Jared Goff in that in in that, on that one particular play in that game, and he broke through Andrew Whitworth in that game. But man, and then if you saw the sorry about that, just uh, got interrupted by my friend Adam. But uh, back to as I was saying about Frank Clark, yeah, for this Frank Clark trade, so. So yeah, we basically got Kansas City's first round pick and frickin' uh, in this year's draft, we got a 2020 second round pick and swap mid rounders. So yeah, so if you want, so yeah, this is, so I just had to put this part of the video in to, you know, edit in there. So yeah, I mean, it's sad, you know, Frank was my frickin' dog, man. I mean, he was my, he was a good friend. I mean, I still remember the first time I met him was his rookie year training camp. I had no idea who he was at first though because you know when you meet when you meet a lot of the new the new rookies that come into the league though too. And then I saw 55 and then just got quiet. I'm like, "Wait a minute." When he said his name was Frank, I'm like, "Wait a minute." I'm like, "You're Frank Clark?" I'm like, "You're Frank Clark?" And I was like, and that was and that was basically how I got acquainted with him. It was at the it was at the training camp in 2015. And ever since then, I've been kicking it off with Frank ever, at at all the games since then and and the other training camps these past few years. So to me, I'm sad to see him go, but you know, I mean, it's hard. I mean, I understand that the draft is deep in pass rush and all that shit too. But you know, I just hope we better freaking. We're gonna have to freaking nail it. But I will say this though: with the draft coming up, I still guarantee you we're gonna trade down one of those first round picks. Since now we have two of them, I bet you we trade down with one of them. Or who knows? I mean, we got. Well, I think we'll use a pick, but I think we'll try to get more picks trading down one of the one of the first round picks so i like the idea of getting more picks for one of those for for one of those first round picks so and other than that so a negative part about it for coming up i mean i mean i will go i will get on my youtube and i will do a video of my reaction to the picks is now youtube has this new stupid rule where now i now you can't you can't stream or go live unless you have freaking a thousand subscribers which is bullshit, man. I mean, this is my freaking frustrations that now I freaking can't go live and give everyone my freaking reactions to the freaking first round of the draft or for seeing who goes where, like, you know, like I did last year. 
during the draft when Baker Mayfield surprisingly got picked number one overall. I mean, I freaking love giving that reaction. So, yeah, other than that, it is what it is. So now, Frank Clark, officially part of the Kansas City Chiefs. Just give me your thoughts in the comments. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Draft days in two, we're 48 hours away from the NFL draft. You better freaking nail it in this draft because especially with this pass rush, with this big time pass rush loaded NFL draft, we're going to have to find a pretty goddamn good replacement to replace Frank with. But yeah, Frank, good luck in Kansas City and i um, going to miss you here in Seattle. And you'll, you'll always be my dog. Until the next one, if you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. And as always, go Seahawks.